We're starting to get a grander picture of Super Mario 3D All-Stars launch sales as now we finally have some digital sales data. Now this is worldwide digital sales data, so it's not broken down by region. So we can't be too sure um, which region had the most in digital sales. You know, I talked about how it's possible, including digital, that uh, you know Super Mario 3D All-Stars maybe outsold Marvel's Avengers uh, during uh, last month. But you know that that's less important uh, for Nintendo, anyways, than overall sales. And uh, all this data comes from Super Data's monthly report. Now, Super Data does a monthly report of digital game sales. That's what they cover. They don't cover physical, so they're not here to be the MPD or anything else. They cover worldwide digital sales, uh, and they say digital games brought in a total of about 10.7 billion dollars in revenue for September, which is a 14% year-over-year increase. As has been the case every single year, digital sales are making up a larger chunk of the pie every single year. So we're just continuing down that trend here. Uh, this was driven by an increase across all platforms. This includes mobile. Uh, so, you know, even, you know, phones and stuff like that is up by 9%. PC is up by 8% and console by 40%. Thanks to releases such as NBA 2K21, Tony Hawk Pro Skaters 1 and 2, Marvel's Avengers, and Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which incidentally were also the top four earners in order on consoles. NBA 2K21 sold a total of 1.5%. 9 million digital units and was the top earning title overall for the month across all platforms. Again, this is obviously in terms of revenue. Remember, there are multiple versions of NBA 2K21 available, including a more expensive version that goes beyond the $60 price tag. So that is why you're going to see here that it maybe didn't have the, the highest unit sales, but made the most money just because of the variance in the different more expensive versions. Um, and the sales were up 19% for NBA 2K21 over NBA 2K20's uh, launch month last year. Uh, at number two, we had Tony Talks Pro Skater 1 and 2 at 2.8 million digital units. So again, sold more copies but didn't make as much money. Avengers sold 2.2 million units last month, marking the second biggest digital launch for a Square Enix title right behind Final Fantasy VII Remake, and it roughly matches the launch month digital sales of Marvel's Spider-Man. Uh, and Super Mario 3D All-Stars is in here. It sold 1.8 million digital units. And this again, worldwide, marking the biggest digital launch for a Mario title on Switch. That's right. It beat out Super Mario Odyssey. It beat out Super Mario Maker 2. It beat out Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe as well. And likely is going to outdo new Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury next year. Maybe not, but I have a strong feeling these digital sales are going to top that. And I'm going to stop there for a moment because obviously we're a Nintendo channel first and foremost. And I just want to look at that 1.8 million number. We know it did about 1.2 in physical in the U.S. Uh, you know, in Japan right now, you know, we get weekly sales updates over there. Uh, the latest update shows that Super Mario 3D All-Stars is a, a roughly around 350,000 units, 345,000 to be more exact, uh, in Japan based on the Famitsu numbers. So if you add that all together, just with Japan, U.S., and then worldwide digital sales, I mean, you're looking at, what, 1.5 plus 1.8, so, you know, 3.3 million just right there, not counting uh, physical sales across the entire globe, just counting physical sales from two areas. I think that is mightily impressive. I mean, at this point, I think it's, it wouldn't be shocking to see that launch month for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which had two weeks on the market in September, probably went between 5 to 7 million units worldwide. I don't think that's going to be too shocking of a number. And when we get a sales update, I mean, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is going to be another 10-plus million seller for Nintendo uh, after this holiday period i can guarantee that uh so i, I honestly uh it, it just makes it even more baffling that this game is only going to be a limited release when it's selling like this like this is insane sales numbers to only have this as a limited release it just seems pointless at this point like it's selling so well it's going to be in the top 10 selling switch games period i just I, how do you do this to this game, to this collection. I understand that some people might be upset about these sales numbers, hoping that more people would boycott it because they didn't do enough. But, I mean, it's unquestionably a massive, massive hit. All right, so... 
you know, it is what it is. You, not everyone's going to get what they want out of this. I know some people uh, are upset, you know, as well about NBA 2K21 out doing NBA 2K20. Uh, let's just be honest about NBA 2K. Yes, there was that ad snafu where they forced ads in. They apologized, said that wasn't intended. I don't know how it wasn't intended, but whatever. The point is, NBA 2K, love it or hate it, which I tend to really enjoy the NBA 2K games. Uh, I don't like some of the microtransaction stuff they do, specifically in the single player. That It's really upsetting when you see forced microtransactions in single player. Um, granted, you don't want it to affect multiplayer, but I mean, the way that it affects story mode and makes it so hard to get your character to even be a decent NBA player, let alone a stud, uh, over the course of a 15-year career, it's, it, it's pretty insane. But I got to say, regardless of that, NBA 2K is a pretty great game every year. Uh, they don't have the same controversies like Madden does, where Madden is busted for not changing anything, for not doing anything, for reusing assets, for not being impressive. I mean, guys, did you see the next-gen trailer for NBA 2K21? Like, my God, they, like, rebuilt the game for next-gen. Like, NBA and 2K does a fantastic job with this franchise, actually pushing it forward year over year. Uh, just not true with other... Um, companies like EA for some reason. That being said, let's get into the rest of this because we do have some PC stuff on here. We don't do enough talking about PC, and I actually do want to pick this game up because I'm really big, really, really big in the strategy games. Uh, but on PC, Crusader, Ki Crusader Kings 3 sold 1.1 million units, setting a launch record for PC strategy games and reaching number five on the PC charts. I really want to check it out. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, Tonight, I'll be going to be live streaming over on Twitch for those interested. Uh, we're not going to be playing this. We will be playing on a PC, uh, but we're going to be actually playing um, Phoenix Rising, you know, a Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, that game's coming to Switch and all platforms. Like, you guys should come check out that stream as I react to this game that's very, looks very Breath of the Wild inspired, uh, even more so than Genshin Impact. All right. Uh, there's a popular streaming title, obviously, out there in Among Us. Uh, it did not make it onto the charts because uh, it has limited in-game spending. So Among Us is uh, not a game that's necessarily designed to drive the highest profit margins, uh, but it does obviously make good money. There's a lot of people playing it. Um, but the mobile version of it actually reached as many players as Pokemon Go did during August of 2016, which was the most popular month of Pokemon Go ever. So, like, its height of player base is way, way up there. Obviously, uh, they don't have, you know, a ton of microtransactions in the game, but, uh, hey, they have some. They're, they uh, don't, don't feel bad. The company that made Among Us is making plenty of money off Among Us. They're just not making as much money as they possibly could be making uh, if they wanted to implement more in-game purchase options uh the top earner from last month on pc which happened to be fall guys actually didn't make it under the charts uh, fall guys has really fallen off it's still popular I, I still see it on on certain streams and and th there's a lot still happening with it uh they're working on you know some more courses and some more of that it, it'll it'll come back around when, when it uh reinvigorates itself with some new content injects it in uh but right now among us is the hot commodity that's eventually gonna fall off you know another indie game might take over fall guys might bounce back you just never know uh the the staying power of these games are kind of all all over the place you know everything wants to be minecraft where it just doesn't go away uh even fortnite seems to almost have entered that minecraft territory where while fortnite isn't at the heights it once was it's kind of settled in like on twitch you always have between 90 to 100 thousand people watching others play fortnite so clearly fortnite has established itself as a top streaming game and it's going to stay there despite the mobile controversy uh but yeah i, I think uh It'll be interesting to see how long Among Us uh, stays up in that that, that that upper echelon of uh, streamed games anyways. And obviously, if they start to implement any more um, microtransactions in there so they can make a bit more money off of this massive success they have at their hands. I mean, they're definitely not making Pokemon Go money. Like, uh, not even close. All right. So that's it. I think that's the, the, the grand total mix-up of all the digital sales. Again, courtesy of Super Data's monthly report, which was broken down uh, and shared by GameIndustry.biz. GameIndustry.biz is a great place uh, for this kind of information uh, because like, Super Data doesn't necessarily have like a massive public presence uh, with this data. It's kind of all behind the scenes. So I'm really glad to see that uh, a website was able to bring this forward so we could talk about it. Again, Super Mario 3D All-Star is looking hot, but so is, so is a lot of things. I mean, yeah. <laughs> 
You look at that that uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater sales, man. Two point eight million digital. Damn, dude. Talk about some demand for some Tony Hawk. People have been wanting great Tony Hawk games for a long time, so they failed at doing it. So let's just remake the great ones. Um, good for them. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.